Hi, this is the Infinite Game, and I talk about alternative investing and also traditional investing. And I'm probably going to expand into way more stuff, but this video is going to be on the different tiers of sports cars. And I think there's two ways to look at this. Um, but before that, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm giving, I think, great knowledge. Um, I think this stuff is going to be helpful as far as collecting and also investing. Um, across the board, but especially when it comes to sports cards and where to put your money and how to look at the market. Um, so yeah, please hit the like button and let's get to it. So here's the thing. There are technically four tiers, you, you, can, you can say. There's low end, Especially when you come to basketball, football, soccer. You say the same thing with baseball. Baseball a little different. but And then the other markets for the other cars are still forming. So for... And all of them are really going to go into what baseball is, basically. Everything is going to look very similar to baseball eventually. Once they fully mature car market for basketball football soccer is gonna look like probably most likely baseball i'm um, saying for probably ufc um saying for a lot of other stuff so for it's easier just do football soccer basketball because they all really have the same sets from panini there's tops from basketball i mean for, from basketball i mean for you know soccer but i'll get into that in a second so Specific for Panini products, you have low end, mid tier, high end, but then you have ultra high end. Um, so mid tier is going to be you know paper products, really Chronicles, Donruss, hoops uh, for basketball. Um, you're gonna have all that stuff. Um, next, you're going to have you know other lower end products like Revolutions status which is basketball um just a bunch of stuff like that um not really that sought after i think it's really more for kids they do have one-on-one -on -one stuff and that's some nice cards and, and and some parallels and some shiny stuff but most of these are going to be paper cards and most of the stuff won't be worth much unless the high-end stuff the mid-tier stuff and ultra high-end stuff just goes untouchable for most people and they're just like man i just want a card and you know a base say crazy base zion or base patrick mahomes or whatever you know was average is twenty thousand you know twenty thousand dollars and optic is five thousand and every base mid-tier card is that much people are just gonna go in the low end and that's gonna actually increase the most. If you think somebody's gonna be all time great or the greatest ever, or top two greatest ever and culturally relevant, like a mega star, technically it's probably smarter to buy the low end stuff, uh, especially if it's not that much and people aren't gonna go grading it. Um, so a lot of that stuff is just gonna deteriorate. And then, and typically they make more lower end cards um, than they do mid tier and higher end. Higher end they normally make the least amount. So, next is your mid-tier. Common mid-tier stuff is going to be Prism. I would say Mosaic. Not, not necessarily in order, but really people would say Prism right now. Select, Optic, Mosaic. There are other sets. Um, I would say Impeccable, Noir, or kind of that mid I'm gonna say between the mid and the, the I would say mid end. Um, but I think those cars are nice and they're more for collectors. And I think those cars people should be buying, especially your autos um, and patch autos. You know, lower end, the other lower end stuff that just came to mind is Royal Crown or Crown Royal. Um, that's another lower end set. So you have that set. And then you have. The next set, which is higher end, so that's gonna be National Treasures, 
Um, and yeah, you have some low end stuff like, you know, National Treasures Base or whatever, and then just zero number National Treasures. Um, but also you have the autos and the RPAs and, and you do get Prism where you have a 101 or out of 10 that sells for a lot of money. But the whole set in general, outside of probably 101s and maybe out of five and out of two of, let's say, a rookie card who's really good, uh, who's probably going to be an all-time great, that stuff is really mid-tier. So high end is going to be National Treasures. It's going to be, I would say, opulence, impeccable, flawless. For basketball, they have something called paradise. I would say eminence is high end as well. Um, there are, I think there are a few other sets, but they're like super, 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 super hard to find. And it's only like special type of releases. And then you have the ultra high end. Um, the ultra high end is really like the one-on-ones for national treasures and, those high-end sets, one-on-ones or out of, and there are typically RPAs, rookie patch autos, serial number, really in single digit serial number, one or two of them exist with the RPA, well, a vertical horizontal cards, and, you know, some Prism 101 autos, or there are some RPAs and select Prism and stuff like that for mid-tier stuff. That's really like the ultra high end and ultra high end stuff normally sells for typically sells for at least a couple hundred thousand dollars the breakthrough point is at least a hundred thousand but typically it sells for a couple hundred thousand dollars in a general market and it's like you can't find many of them there's only like five of them exist or seven maybe ten of them that exist when it comes to mid-tier type stuff, it's really, it depends. But a lot of that stuff, and it's changed, especially for basketball modern, um, because it was, you know, stuff that was 300 to probably 5000 maybe $10,000. Um and then everything else was like high end stuff, but everything's really moved up. And a lot of that mid mid tier stuff, like especially for Luca and stuff like that, that's become like high end for a lot of people. Um, because a lot of Luca silver stuff is seven. So, you know, Luca silver, seven, eight, nine thousand, ten thousand dollars. So a lot of that stuff is starting to become like higher end. Um, and then, you know, a lot of his serial number refractor type cards for prism and select you know can go into tens of thousands of dollars so it's really i would say about 15 to twenty thousand. now is really high end and then you say the ultra high end is about a hundred thousand or more and it's really most of the time it's not all the time but most of the time that stuff is at least a couple hundred thousand dollars still a couple hundred thousand dollars like the jordan i would consider as high end for example 1986 fleer psa 10 michael jordan is a hundred thousand or is around three to four hundred thousand dollars now maybe five hundred thousand i would say that's still high end it's not ultra high end ultra high end would be like babe roof or mickey mantle psa 9 rookie you know selling the millions of dollars or stuff that's you know, selling for eight hundred thousand dollars, you know, stuff like that is ultra high end type stuff, and that stuff is really always going to continue to go up because it rarely sells. A lot of that stuff only sells every couple years. Um, a lot of high end stuff normally sells every month or every few months. Um, a lot of the mid tier stuff you, you normally see it all the time. Um, and then you see kind of some of the rare stuff, the mid-tier stuff that maybe you see once a week or a few every few weeks or whatever. And then low-end stuff is there all the time, you know, no real break and things such as that. So, and really what happens is 
how things flow is the ultra high end stuff really is the what moves the market so when wayne gretzky's cars or whatever sells for a million dollars you know other stuff that player and other stuff in that sport really started to shoot up and then also people start looking at comparable guys to compare to in that sport to shoot up as well is it fair who knows but that that's part of it the, the other thing is that i want to be careful when i say this but you have the high end stuff kind of follows and it kind of gets mixed up when the market is high high end stuff looks like super high end stuff and when the market is low sometimes it may look like mid-tier type things um and if a player is amazing enough that mid-tier stuff can actually sell as high as the high-end stuff but it's still not always the case it depends on the situation um but yeah so ultra high-end is that's really super rich and then you want to get the high-end stuff too but everything else really fluctuates the low-end stuff can really go up and down but it won't move as much and the ultra high-end stuff don't won't move as much it's really the mid-tier stuff and high-end stuff and the people who are moving the market for the old the ultra high-end stuff or some of the richest people um they just got millions and millions of dollars to spend on this stuff um as an investment and things such as that the low end stuff is probably you know people don't have that much money or kids and you know some flippers are trying to start off or just people just starting off buying cars for a couple dollars ten dollars twenty dollars something like that um mid-tier stuff you know it's really people who are working who are moving the market who have a nine to five most likely and, and there are some wealthy people you know upper middle class middle class people are really buying the mid-tier stuff and the high-end stuff rich people and upper middle class people are buying the high-end stuff and that's normally how, how it really works um but yeah it, this, if you're like super rich obviously buy high end and ultra high end of established players everyone else is really competing and if the guy becomes an all-time great um but i think where people will probably lose the most money is mid-tier stuff because that's the type of stuff that's going to fluctuate the most yeah when well, markets are super crazy but mid-tier stuff fluctuates the most you can make a lot of money if you're set at the right time but most people won't but if you like the video um please like comment and subscribe um and if you don't like it you know give me some advice what i can do better um and comment on the bottom and i normally respond to pretty much everybody no matter what so yeah, appreciate you watching. Peace.